Good afternoon and welcome to another unboxing video. Today we're going to be looking at Lincoln, which is a two-player war game by Martin Wallace and it's been published by PSC Games. Now this version here is actually the Kickstarter version that I picked up for not a lot of money, so I was quite pleased about that. Um, you can see the box here, we've got the very man himself, um, kind of front and centre, and then we've got some uh, soldiers from the two sides, the Unionists and the Confederacy over here, because it's based on the American Civil War. If we look at the bottom of the box here, you'll see that we have uh, here, so it's two players, as I said, uh, recommended age is 14 and plus, and it should play in uh, between 90 minutes and two hours is the kind of time frame you're looking uh, at. Well then just flip to the back, it tells you a wee bit about the game. So I'll just sit that down there, you should be able to read that okay. So a new approach to the American Civil War. It claims to be a fast paced, card driven strategy war game. So there's no dice in this, it's all about uh, multi-use cards and it has this uh, mechanic in it called deck deconstruction where over the course of the game you're actually going to be losing cards from your deck uh, by you know making certain plays so you can choose to do certain plays that actually make you lose cards from your deck which can in this case is usually a bad thing um, so yeah we're, without further ado we're just going to crack it open and um, see what lies within okay so that's the cellophane now off okay so I should just be able to lift the box cover off. Okay, and we can see here we've got the rule book, which is actually a kind of almost like an A5 size, just under A5, um, and it's got the cover on it. So nice uh, illustrations there, and yeah, I think the game it's not it's as far as war games go. It's uh, probably one of the easier ones to pick up to, to kind of grasp so it would probably be a good introductory war game um, so yeah so it just kind of goes through all the different um, you know phases and kind of actions in the game victory conditions and so on and then on the back you can see there's a wee bit of the board as well which we'll uh, look at later so we've got a couple of punch boards here now I think because this is the Kickstarter version these are double sided and they're a wee bit thicker than they are in the retail game but other, you know other than that, it should be you know roughly the same. So you can see here we've got the Confederate troops, we've got the Union troops, we've got various different flags for control, um, and we've got fort tokens up here. So there you go. So just one punch board actually. I thought there'd be more than that. And then here we've got the board itself. So a nice mounted board. So it comes in four parts. All just folds out like that there. So probably won't be able to get that all in shot. I think I'd need to zoom out a wee bit, but. You can see here, oh, I'll just zoom out a wee bit actually, you can see here this is most of the board. And if I put it sideways, you might be able to see it a wee bit better. Yep, so you can see you've got all the different locations. Each location is kind of split into two halves, so you can have troops in either half, and you have these railway lines that link them. You also have, um, the, you'll see here you've got the coast, and I believe the Union player um, has access to boats, and they can move tri troops down to ports. There's also a track for um, influence in Europe and blockades. Influence in Europe, if the Confederacy gets all the way down here, they win instantly. Blockades affects the hand size of the Confederacy, so if the Union player pushes the blockades up, it reduces the number of cards that the, the, well, the hand size of the confederate player and it also will get them victory points as well the further the, um, down the track they get so that's obviously something that they are kind of gaining for as well okay so that's the board okay there's not really much, a lot else here we've got some cards so oh, let me drop those there so you can see here it may be difficult to see with the light but big stack of cards you've got the you know the card out in the back there so I'll just pop this open. So this is a bigger stack. And they look to be um, typical kind of Magic the Gathering. You know, American kind of card game size. So you can see here, um, so the, the cards have different symbols on them. So that's different recruiting troops, discarding cards when you play it. Victory point, um, sorry, combat points for combat. Other abilities like rail here, 
um, they've got, and they've got benefits as well. So it, it's one of these games where there's no dice. It's all about hand management and you know the cards, multifunction cards. So playing cards that do different things depending on how you play them, um, which is something I really like in games. I'm a big fan of multifunction cards, and I'm not a big fan of you know success or fail dice rolls. So for me, this game uh, is probably going to be one I really enjoy. Um, you have also here just a couple of counters and these are just for tracking the Europe and the blockade um, tracks so they're just there to track that. Finally we've got a small wee deck cards here, uh, I think they're going to be easier to open, yep. And I think to be honest these are just more of the same um, there. In fact no these are, yeah, these are ones that I think get added later. Okay, so each um, side has its own deck as well. Okay, so that's the cards. If we look under the insert, and there's nothing else there. So, yeah, there's not really a lot to this game, um, which means that setup should be quite straightforward. Um, and yeah, so that is um, that is uh, Lincoln. Yeah, looks to be a good game. Um, Martin Wallace, a um, big fan of his games. You know, I love uh, every single Martin Wallace game I've played, I've enjoyed, some more than others. But I think he's a fantastic designer, so I'm really forward, uh, looking forward to getting this one to the table at some point. Okay, folks, so thanks for watching. So that was Lincoln by Martin Wallace. Um, if you liked the video, please uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Um, I look forward to you know hearing from you, and thanks for watching.